Okay, so what I have here today is a video about a project I've been working on. I picked up a couple of these toy RC boats off of eBay for about 50 bucks a piece. Uh, they are the 575 NQD uh, High Wind, it's known by some, or Mosquito Craft. Uh, the boats in stock form ship with a dual motor setup. They're dual brushed motors, uh, no water cooling and uh, there is no variability in the speed of this boat. It's either going full blast or not going at all. Um, the motors are pretty cheap. The very first run on both of these boats, the motors were smoking after only a few minutes. I let the boats cool off, let the motors cool off for a little while, ran them again, the same thing. After only a few minutes, the motors were smoking. Uh, the boat uses a vectored thrust type steering. It doesn't have any rudder, so it will just run one motor at full speed and stop the other completely in order to turn left or right. This boat also ships with a radio system, but it's a cheap FM 27 megahertz, lots of interference type radio system. And I believe that's it. The, the boat in length, it's claimed to be 29 or 30 inches in most of the advertising, but that includes this little, I guess, swim deck thing they've added to the bottom, or I'm sorry, to the back. It's just a cheap piece of plastic. In reality, this boat is about 24 inches if measured to the transom of the boat from the bow to the transom. And although they do run faster than most toy boats, uh, they're not gonna last for very long because the motors just overheat tremendously. So what I've done is I've upgraded this one with a uh, brushless motor system and a better radio system, etc. cetera. Uh, first, I picked up this 2.4 gigahertz radio system from, uh, I believe it was nitrorcx.com. It's a Fly Sky FS GT3B radio, surface radio. It has a pretty nice screen on it. I think you can hold up to 10 models and you can set endpoints, you can reverse your servos, uh, you can name your models, set the trims, the dual rates, etc. Nice little flip antenna on that radio. It shipped with one receiver, and I think it was around $30 or $40, about $35 or $40 for the transmitter and receiver pair. The receivers are very cheap too. I think I picked up these receivers for six or seven dollars. I bought I think three or four extras for some other cars or boats. Okay, so a little bit about the brushless setup in this boat now. I uh, picked up some parts from HobbyKing.com. I bought one of these KD inrunners. It's a 36 millimeter inrunner. I think it's 36 millimeters by 60 millimeters long. Uh, it's a 3000 kV motor. Um, along with that, I have a water cooling jacket for the motor. A motor a water cooled motor mount for the motor a 100 amp ESC I think it's the brand is called birdie it's a it's got a water cooling plate in the place of a heat sink works pretty well I used a full-size Traxxas I think it's a 2075 Traxxas servo it's waterproof um, but you could use any full-size servo for your steering uh, I'm using a 4mm flexi shaft drive system to power a single prop connected to my rudder for steering. And this rudder uh, has a water pickup at the bottom, as you can see the water hose that goes in feeds in through the back of the boat, goes directly into my water cooled, or my water jacket for the motor, which then goes into the motor mount and then out of the motor mount into the ESC. And then the ESC just comes out the side hole water outlet. Uh, the setup runs pretty good. Uh, with a two cell LiPo, it's pulling around 80 amps with, the, with a 40 millimeter prop. This is a 40 millimeter prop. This prop is actually uh, one of the replacement props for a Traxxas uh, villain. EX boat uh, just happened to be a four millimeter shaft, a four millimeter thread, so I grabbed that. Um, Price-wise, again, 
The boat itself was around $50 on eBay, about $35 or $40 for the transmitter and receiver. The ESC was around $30. The motor, I believe, was $23 or $25. The water cooling jacket for the motor was around $5. And then the motor mount itself, which came with these two uh, fiberboard mounts plus the, uh, the uh, nice metal brackets and the, and the front water cooled plate was around 15, I think 15 or maybe $20 at the most. I think it was 15 to $17. I picked up the servo for about $20, but that was new on off of eBay. Uh, you, could, you could use any full-size servo again. And I think that's it. So really, it's just about turning this uh, very super mild uh, toy RC boat into something that's actually fun to play with. My next video will actually be a test run of both of these boats uh, side by side or, or one after the other so you can see the difference in the way they run. Thanks for watching.